Well, guys, we're currently driving back through Mexico to uh, my grandpa's mansion again. If you guys haven't seen the last episode, our grandpa gave us a mansion. And uh, we went there last week to clean it out. We found a ton of crazy stuff. But apparently we left something there, his garden truck. So I totally didn't check behind the airplane hangar. You know, my mistake. But we're going back to pick it up because it's some crazy uh, GMC pickup. It's supposed to be a nice one. So we're going to pull back into the Mexico property. And uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. If you guys are excited for today's video, drop a thumbs up. We're going to customize this truck out to the max. We're going to take it back to our shop that we have back in Texas and uh, customize this bad boy out. But as of now, we've got no bites on the property. I'm trying to sell it and uh, nobody wants to buy it right now. Uh, I don't know why. It's probably a little highly priced, but right now we have it for sale. So if you guys are interested in buying a mansion, you know, this is the one. Pull them back in, boys. I'm here to pick up the uh, last vehicle. There we go. Looks good. Perfect. Well, we brought the F-250 again with us today and the triple axle. And the truck should fit in perfectly. It doesn't have tow mirrors, so we should be good. All right, here we go. The grain unveiling. Let's see what this truck looks like. It's supposed to be behind the hangar. And there it is. Whoa. Uh, yeah, that's pretty stock. Oh, my gosh. What are those rims? No, I can't look at this truck with those rims on it. Oh, my gosh. Well, I, I mean, I guess it is a garden truck, and it's a diesel, too. An AT4 Duramax diesel. Oh, my gosh, boys. This is actually a pretty nice truck. Let's hop in and see what it's like. Well, judging from the interior, this ain't a bad truck. I'm not going to lie. It's got the full leather, the updated touchscreen. Uh, let's see. We can lower the window here, I'm pretty sure. Yep, we could do a ton of stuff. I'm not really sure what uh, buttons do what, but, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a great truck. I'm not going to lie. 84 is a top of the line off-road package. The wheels are not off-road though. What we're going to do, I have some pretty great plans for this truck. First, let's get it in the back of our trailer and uh, let's get heading back to Texas. Car is right up. Let's see if it's got air horns. Usually they uh, put these on. Oh yeah, boys. No problem. Oh no, we're getting stuck. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, I got some plants rolling around back there. Well, anyways, yeah, we're going to get this in the uh, back of the trailer and head back. I think I want to do like a lift, a big set of tires, maybe do some add-on customizations, like new grill. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, we got, we actually have tow mirrors on this thing. Hey, which one of you told me that there wasn't tow mirrors? Well, uh, we'll make it work. Come on, let's see. I think the width will be good, but we have to readjust here. Yep, no problem. It's super tight, though. It's about an inch on each side. Come on. Come on, GMC. There we go. I'll call that good. Oh, my gosh. Look at the ceiling. The ceiling height's about a centimeter. Wow. That that could have ended up really bad. We came 10 hours with the wrong trailer. Wow. All right, boys. We'll head back to Texas and customize this truck out. I really do like the AT4 package and the white color on it, so we'll probably won't do any paint on it. But like I said, we're going to do lift, tires, and uh, that's about it. But... I think this is the last time we're going to visit this property. I really scoped it out pretty well. Made sure we weren't leaving anything behind. That plane uh, doesn't work. But what we're going to do is we're going to have a semi-truck come and pick it up with a low-loader trailer. And uh, after that... Oh, come on. Beat the traffic. There we go. Anyways, once it gets back to Texas, they're going to start rebuilding the engine. Then we're going to have a single prop plane flying in southern Texas, boys. This is going to be awesome. Well, anyways, boys, I have a very long drive... We're probably going to be pulling in at like 7 a.m. Uh, it's going to be very late night in an early morning. So, boys, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, boys, I'm running on tons of coffee, and uh, we've made it to Texas. Uh, we had a little bit of traffic, so it's uh, 10 a.m., but uh, we're getting back. So, yeah, we're, we are here. Let's see. we got to find my shop. I, uh, I think I remember where I'm going. But, uh, yeah, I think we're going to keep working, though. We're going to get this uh, truck up on the lift. Get the tires swapped out, put a new lift kit on it, some spacers. Uh, I've already got a guy ready to install the lift kit, so we should be good to go. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have a fun day. So, anyways, uh, take a right at this street. If I'm not wrong, I, I think I'd take a left. I haven't been here in four years, guys. This is my southern Texas location. But if I really want to get home, it's five hours north. So, uh, anyways, uh, we'll find this place eventually. Well, there's the old U-Haul trailer store. Uh, oh, my gosh. I think I'm running on too much caffeine. Oh, my gosh. All right. Let's find this property. Come on. 
I think I'm going to take a nap, too, when I get there. All right, here we go. We're on the main road. And if I don't remember, it's next to one of the properties. Here it is, boys, pulling in. I'm at my property, Hay Bale Street. Yes, sir. Finally made it. Okay, well, what we're going to do, we got to back the trailer into the garage once we get everything unloaded. Get the ramps down. And there we go. Looks good. All right, let's drive uh, this truck out of the trailer. Oh, my gosh. Got to get him from the side door here. All right, here we go. We're going to fire it up. Still runs. It's still got diesel in it, too. Looks good. We got it unloaded. So let's make this truck not so stock. Let's go ahead and put it on the outside lift. Got the gate here. No opener. I got to go click the button. Let's see. It's around the back side of the fence here. Perfect. And now we can drive it on to the lift. Awesome. This place is, uh, this has been very well maintained for me not being here in two years because uh, there is people that just trim the trees and uh, yeah, it looks good. Keep the pavement power wash too, so it looks nice. Just a little tight maneuvering this truck in here. All right, looks good. Let's center it and uh, then they'll be good. Here we go. Let's go ahead and put it under. Looks good. They'll fold out. Very nice lift. There it goes. Probably turn it off. Okay. Wanted to get that before, before it was in the air. Oh, oh, hold on. I got to stop. Okay. Yeah, that's actually a good height. I think the guy should be able to work on it. Well, he's going to come out and uh, put a new lift on. He's got to pull all the tires off and put the lift on underneath here. It's going to be a gigantic lift. I don't know the brand of it. He said it'll look good on the truck. And we're going to put new rims on it. Uh, I think we might do a bumper. We're going to do an aftermarket bumper and a uh, rear bumper too. And uh, yeah, this place is going to be uh, rocking. We're going to have a new truck on the lift in a matter of seconds. So I'll see you guys when it's finished. There she is, boys. We just pulled it down from the lift. And uh, this GMC is looking fantastic. We added some aftermarket uh, forward bumpers and rear bumpers. Both have lights and recovery hooks on them. Gigantic lift, big American Force street tires. Uh, we probably should not get this thing stuck in the mud. It's just, it's not meant for it. More of a pavement princess, but uh, look at the back. Very aggressive look with that add-on bumper. We also added on some foldable steps for the truck. It is lifted, so we had to add those on to get up in. And uh, here we go. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Here we go. Still sounds the same. He actually did add on a little exhaust tuner, which makes it sound a little better. It's like a whistle. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Our first test is going to be up here at the rock crawl. I uh, put these rocks in a couple years ago when I bought the property. Uh, just to test out all my trucks, and uh, it actually is pretty cool. There we go. We're just going to drive up on the rocks. Looks good. It's so nice having a lifted truck again. Wow, look at this thing. It absolutely destroys the rocks. Oh, look at the suspension. Wow, that is crazy. And all right, bring it down nice and easy. I got skid plates on it, so don't worry about it. There we go. Wow, that was awesome. I'd say we do some performance tests too. This is a Duramax diesel engine. I want to get a 0 to 60. It does have pretty uh, pretty good torque, too. Of course, when you got to pull a tree down or something, it works out great. So, all right, let's go down to the end here, and we'll spin it around and, uh, you know, race down the main road. Line it up. Let's get down 0, well, let's see, 1,500 RPMs, and then 0 miles per hour, and there we go. All right, there's one second, two second. It is a truck. That's four seconds. Oh, gosh. Okay, this is going to be seven, seven and a half seconds right there to 60 miles per hour. But once you get going, man, this thing doesn't stop dropping gears. There we are. We are zooming 120. Oh, my gosh. We're flying, boys. Always got to do performance check after new tires. Make sure they're aligned right and they're on the rims properly. Looking good. We're not turning too sharp. You know, if we all of a sudden just went like that, you know, you know that'd be a problem. So, looks great. Well, boys, uh, that's going to end out today's video. Customizing Grandpa's garden truck out. And, uh, yeah, that was the last vehicle at his property. The plane will be coming in shortly, and we'll uh, rebuild the engine. But until then, I think we got to wait till Grandpa gives us another property. And he's getting old, so he can't get out to... I think his next one is a... Uh, it's an island property, so we might have to go out there... It's actually a very modern mansion, and we're going to have to go check it out. And uh, yeah, see, see what it's like. Maybe, oh my gosh, this person just slammed on their brakes. 
Move it. All right. Anyways, back to the story. Um, he might give us his lake house too. So if that'd be cool, we can have Grandpa's lake house. You know, we could check out all the boats there. I know he's got more supercars, more trucks. I think that'd be a fun day. I'll ask him. You know, he's getting old. He can't get out to those lake houses like he could. Uh, anyways, boys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this Grandpa's truck customizing video. And uh, remember, if you want to see more of the Grandpa series, basically just, uh, you know, making his trucks better, drop a thumbs up and subscribe below, boys. Appreciate it a ton. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.